Hello there, you're watching Lockpicking Legend. And if you can sense a, a, some kind of lethargy and existential crisis, it's because although I went out drinking Saturday, yeah, I've still got a hangover. That's what happens when you're old. Now, I am going to get a proper video out, and I'll, I'll, I'll get it out in the next couple of days, but I just wanted to... Uh, 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 I don't know, a, a space filler is it called? A place setter? <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. My brain isn't working. But I think you'll enjoy this. You can throw all those leashy picks away. You don't need them anymore. And it also works on house doors, pin cylinder locks. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. The locksmiths don't want you finding this out. <laughs> if on any occasion you have... Yeah, that's because they don't want to go around repairing loads of car doors that got faults stuck in them. Held the car key inside and have no keychain at disposal. For sure this simple tip will help you, and making use of only a fork. This alternative works perfectly in times of emergency. Why so much wiggling of the fork? Agency if it happens to hold the key inside. This trick is quick and easy, and anyone can do it. Nothing like using a biro to write on stainless steel it without much effort. The first thing we'll do is separate a fork. With the help of a pen or marker, we will make markings on the fork this way. Uh, yeah, oh, those markings were really required. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's quite a precise point along that tang you've got to get it. Are they called tangs or tines? You know the bit I mean. These parts that have been marked, with the help of pliers, we will bend until removed. Forgetting the keys inside the car is something common, and with the use of this tip, we do not need to bend a door. <laughs> Are you feeling optimistic about this? Door ...and at least break any of the glasses. As soon as I remove both ends, I will hammer until the fork is flat. And before I forget, tell me which city you watch, so I can send you a big hug. Oh, there's nothing like getting a big hug from a computer. <laughs> Thank you for the hug. Today's hug goes to Jennifer Balerda from the Philippines. Oh, I bet she's over the moon. She feels really loved and wanted now. I'm glad you're enjoying our tips. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Brave New World is a horrific place. This tip works perfectly for car locks. Plus, you can also use directly on the home lock if you have... Oh, it work on it will work on cylinder locks as well. Okay, I'm sure that will actually work, yeah. The same problem. Give it a wiggle, can you? Now again with the pliers, we will approximate as much as possible the two central teeth of the fork will be essential for the opening of the doors. <laughs> That's not even English. Also remembering that if the original car key has an integrated chip, this tip will not work because opening the door is only possible thanks to the chip. For locks in the house, it works perfectly. <laughs> it really ain't gonna, come on. No doubt you'll demonstrate that. The exact measurement for the distance between the two center teeth of the fork is approximately one millimeter. <laughs> the exact measurement is approximately great. The ideal is to use a ruler to measure and use the correct size, and with this the fork is already ready for use. <laughs> yeah! Give it a wiggle. Now, we should yeah. just put the fork directly into the lock until the end, and for the opening, we should constantly move, if necessary. Sometimes we should remove the fork and introduce again doing other movements. The ideal is to try constantly, remembering that it is not the correct use in the lock. <laughs> Someone inside, bending down, slowly unlocking the door. So it will not open immediately, for this have patience, but this trick is fully functional. I'm fully functional. I'm sure you will thank me for this tip. When you have an emergency, this advice will be totally useful. <laughs> I appreciate you watching this video so far. See you in the oh, next yeah, video. Oh yeah, I bet you Bye. give a shit.
<laughs> and don't forget people that works on cylinder locks too good gosh now could that work on a car yeah yeah probably could work on one in a million but um i i, I wouldn't trust it and don't go sticking forks in car doors or front doors if you could find a lock bit if you could find a front uh, a cylinder lock big enough to get two tines, tangs, pings, pangs, whatever they're called, of a falcon, you could probably get your hand in it. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks a lot for your life hack. No. You're legendary.